this is our next interview for Beauty Bliss. This is my grandmother, Carol Dreer. So, Grandma, 4% of women think they're beautiful. What do you think of this number? Well, uh, that's probably about right. <laughs> but do you feel like it's low? Like this is that that's a good thing or a bad thing? Or? Well, I think most people don't. They probably think they look pretty ordinary, sometimes maybe even ugly, but <laughs> you, you got to be real confident to think, I am a beautiful woman. <laughs> but where do you think the that 4% come from? Like, what makes them feel so beautiful? Are they exceptionally genetically gifted, or is it confidence, or just belief in themselves? What is it? I think a lot of women get it from externally. Mm-hmm. You know. Because, you know, when I was younger, I felt confident and all, because I guess when I walked down the street and people turned to look at me and all like that, I, I felt more confident. Yeah. So you needed, like, external validation to help feel beautiful? I, really, I think so. Okay, but what do you think is beautiful in other people? Like, when you see someone, what makes them beautiful? Well, I look at eyes a lot. Hair. Do you think eyes come from, like, sketching? I always sketch eyes first when I'm doing portraits. Um, I mean, you know, I've seen... I always notice them, on, like, in ads on, on television, mm -hmm. commercials. Like, sparkly eyes, eye color. Shave. And I even like the makeup, too, but I can't imagine wearing it myself. <laughs> His hair is that way. You liked Grandpa because he had wonderful hair. <laughs> well, you know what? That was what initially attracted me to him. Mm -hmm. You know, it was his hair. I thought, and then I thought, well, we would have beautiful babies. And you did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think, though, that, like, I mean, that women that think they're beautiful have confidence, but just confidence or like belief in yourself help like make you attractive i think so you know if you look self-assured and and maybe if you feel like you're beautiful you may not even need external mm -hmm. but where does that come from then How, what makes people feel that way well you, you just just add, their perspective yeah you know because you can look in a mirror and you think you look good today carol you know yeah, and then you can just rock that right, right. for the whole day. And and I think when you're confident, then people look at you and notice you more, too. Mm-hmm. So when do you feel most beautiful? Like, what what are you doing? Yeah. I don't know. I've reached the age where about the best thing that anybody can say about me, including myself, is you look good for your age, Carol. Grandma. Does it feel good, though, when people say you look like mom's sister? <laughs> well, that feels good. Yeah. What about when you were younger? What made you feel beautiful? Well, I was dressed good, and, and uh, my hair turned out good, and all mm -hmm. like that. Did you feel beautiful when you were younger, then? Yes, I did. Well, not beautiful so much as... I felt attractive, mm -hmm. you know, not, but not beautiful. How do you feel when mom says that plate of uh, JFK and Jackie O, she always thought you were Jackie O and stylish <laughs> and beautiful? Well, that, that always made me feel good. To be compared to Jackie I O? I Gina thought that, too. She thought that was your grandpa and I on that plate. Do you think, like, personal style and being, like, authentic and true to yourself, though, is a part of attractiveness as well? Yes, I do. I, I, I think that uh, you can be stylish and attractive. You can be attractive without being beautiful. Mm hmm Like, people can be drawn to you, like, there's just something about, like, your spirit your or your personality, personality. Your personality comes into it. And I think that's a good point. And, and, you know, your style. That's always good. If you have your own style, it just makes you, I think, more attractive. What do you think of your own style, then? Well... You have great taste in jewelry. <laughs> yes, I do. See? Quite eclectic. I, 
I've always been a little, not exactly flamboyant, mm-hmm. but I, I, I've always been sometimes a little outrageous. <laughs> do you consider yourself creative? Like, do you think that that's where that comes from with style? I think so. I mean, because, you know, sometimes I, I, when I look back when I was younger, I think, I had no taste. Mm-hmm. You know, and how could my mother have let me go out of the house with some of the stuff I wore? You were ahead of your time, Grandma. But she let me, I mean, you know, I can remember some of the stuff I did, and I thought I looked really first class. And I look back on it now, and I think, Carol, what was wrong with you? Yeah, but at the time, were people complimenting on what you were wearing? Well, I, I, there were times, yeah. Okay. I made clothes, you know, and all like that, and I used to get compliments on it. See, that's a good thing. Do you think that, like, if we complimented and made people feel better about themselves, that it would help them feel better, like, more confident? Yes. Can I get my phone? Yeah, we can end up. Any final comments? I don't know, but it's, I'm still filming. <laughs> yeah, well, um, yeah, I think I think you can make people feel better if you if you pick out something genuine. That's good. You know, something genuine about them. You know, like maybe maybe their hair colors. You know, if they changed it, it looks good. I always I used to have a friend at work that you never knew what color her hair would be. You know. <laughs> And, but I always enjoyed it, you know, mm-hmm. finding out, you know, because I guess because I'm kind of, you know. Eclectic. Yeah. Do yeah. you think that we don't compliment as much as we should? Like, we should more? Do you think we're kind of afraid to tell people that we like well, things? if we get too much, you know, then then we, we lose some of our... our Douglas. Uh, some of our... Uh, it doesn't, it's not special if you do it too much. Mm-hmm. You know. What if it's genuine, though? It, then I think you flatter people. And, and, uh, and, and, uh. You were popular, Grandma. I know, I just did. Nah. Uh, you know, if you, if you pick out something that is genuine, you know, maybe like, like a piece of jewelry. Mm-hmm. And, and you flatter their taste. Mm-hmm. You know, and compliment their taste. And, you know, it, maybe it's something that you personally wouldn't wear, but somebody else may look good in it. I used to get that all the time. People would be like, oh, that shirt is horrendous, but then, like, Brittany, you could pull that off. I'm like, I feel like that's a backhanded compliment, but I'll take it. Like, well, it's true. That you have that kind of, like, you exude that you could just wear whatever. <laughs> Sometimes I wear just ordinary stuff, but every once in a while I get a little... A little flare. Mm-hmm. You know, like our scarves. I know, you have like a whole closet full of scarves in there. Yeah. And jewelry. I have so much jewelry, I could start my own Sophia, Leah Sophia. <laughs> I think you could. You have some awesome pieces. I think the duck necklace and the ram head bracelet's my favorite. So you see what kind of flamboyance I've always had. It's wonderful. I like it. So how do you think, last question, that we could change 4% or do we need to, do you think? Do we need to have, like, a higher view of ourselves, Or, like, how would we, like, believe and kind of love and appreciate what we have already? We need to feel beautiful, exactly. We just need to be comfortable with ourselves. Be comfortable and love ourselves for who we are? Right. And just be confident in who we are. Right. And, you know, do the best you can with what you got. That's a good point, Grandma. And dress it up and be yourself, right? Right. Okay. Any final words of wisdom? I have beautiful grandchildren, too. Oh, thank you, Grandma. That's a great point. (laughs) All right. This is my Grandma Carol. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week.